Hello, good day na naman sa ating lahat. For our session for today, we are going to learn about base rate and percentage. So, ito ay meron tayong siyempre ang ating mga explanation at ang ating mga sample problems. So, let's go! Definition. Okay. What is base? Okay, una, base, also known as the whole part. It is the original number. Okay, so, itong base, actually, ay ito yung pinakabuo. Ito yung original number. Okay, itong, itong percentage ay part lamang siya ng base. Kaya dito sa percentage natin, it is defined as part of the whole. So, percentage is part of your base. Ngayon, depende kung magiging gaano kalaki ang percentage, depende yan sa rate. Now, what is rate? Rate, it has the percent sign. So, ang ating rate, nandiyan ang ating percent sign and can be expressed in decimal. It can be in percent, it can be in decimal. Pero, sa ating final answer, the final answer in in finding for our rate should be in percent. Okay. Now, let's go. Things to remember. Okay, things to remember muna tayo bago tayo mag-solve. Okay, conversion of decimal to percent. Mahalaga ito. Itong pagko-convert ng decimal sa percent ay mahalaga dahil every time na tayo magsusolve, it can be in percent or it can be in decimal. So, decimal to percent, you multiply it by 100%. Okay? So, let's have some examples here. 0.21. So, ito yung mga decimals natin. Okay? 0.21 times 100%, that is 21%. 0.10 times 100%, that is 10%. 0.07 times 100% is 7%. 0.4 times 100% is 40%. 0.016 times 100%, that is 1.6%. And 1.52 times 100% is 152%. Okay, para shortcut, since we are multiplying it by 100, ang gagawin lang natin sa decimal point natin is we are going to move it two places to the right. Okay? Bakit to the right? Dahil times 100. So, 0 0.21 naging 21%. 0 0.10 naging 10%. 0 0.07 naging 7%. Eh, paano naman to? Ba? Since we only have one decimal place here, you're going to annex one zero para makamag-move ka ng dalawang decimal places. So, that makes it 40%. Tara na. 1, 2, so that makes it 1.6%. Then ito rin, 1, 2, magiging 152%. Okay, there are instances na magkakaroon tayo ng mga sagot na above 100%. Okay, balik rin naman natin. Okay, from percent to decimal, what do we do? We are going to divide it by 100. For example here, 40% divided by 100, that is 0 0.40, 0 0.4. Okay? 35% divided by 100, that is 0 0.35. 36.2% divided by 100, that is 0 0.0362. 121% divided by 100, it's 1.21. 34.5% divided by 100, that is 0 0.345. And finally, there is 0 0.14% divided by 100. Okay, that makes it 0 0.0014. Okay, notice, kanina, doon tayo ay nag-convert nag from decimal to percent. Ang ginawa natin is we multiplied it by 100. Now, this time around, since it's the other way around, we are going to divide it. Okay? So, baliktad na. So, since yan ay baliktad na, ang gagawin din natin sa pag-move ng decimal places is magiging baliktad na rin. Imbis na tayo ay mag-move 
going to the right, we are going to move it going to the left. So, since ito ay whole number, yung 40 and yung 35, those are, are whole numbers actually, and this 121. Pag whole number, hindi natin nakikita yan, ang decimal point yan, pero actually, nandito yan, sa right side ng ating, ng ating ones place. So, that is 40.0. So, from there, 1, 2, that makes it 0 0.40. Pwede i-simplify ng 0 0.4. And, 35, nandito yan, 1, 2, magiging 0 0.35. And, same as true here, nandito yung decimal point natin, okay, we move it to the left, 1, 2, that makes it 0 0.36. 362. Okay? So, so on and so forth. So, makikita natin yan. Pero, pansinin naman natin to. Okay? Since we are going to move it to the left, and meron lang iisang digit dito, which is 0, we are going to annex to annex another 0. Okay? So, that makes it, so from here, okay, nag-move tayo ng 2 places, 1, okay, we annex 1, 0, 2, Okay? Then, we are going to annex another zero for our whole number. Ibig sabihin, it doesn't have a whole number and we make it zero. Okay? So, 0 0.0014. Okay, let's move for our formulas. Okay? Let us have first the representations. Okay? We represent base as B, rate as R, and percentage as P. Okay? So our formulas here, P is equal to BR. Remember, in mathematics, if we have two variables here, that means to say, you are going to multiply them. Okay? Ibig sabihin yan, pinagdikit mo yung B and R, that means you are going to multiply base times rate. B times R. Okay? Basta walang a sign in between, automatic yan, multiplication. Okay? What about for our rate? Okay, rate is equal to P divided by B. Or we simply say, P over B. It may appear na para siyang fraction, pero actually, we are going to divide that. P over B. We read this as P over B. Okay. Next, for our B, okay, if base is missing, okay, base is equal to P divided by R or P over R. Okay, remember, okay, take note of this. For our R, sa ating formula sa ating P, and para sa R, sa ating formula sa ating B, sa ating base, ang R natin for both uh, formulas should be expressed in decimal. Kaya mahalaga na alam natin ang pagko-convert from percent to decimal and decimal to percent. Okay? So, balikan nyo lang itong video na ito kapag may hindi kayo maaitindihan. Okay? Next, let's have our sample problems. Number one, what is 20% of 60? Okay, for this case, let us first have our given. Our givens are, okay, R, which is rate, is equal to 20%. 20% that is equal to 0 0.20 or 0 0.2. For our base, this is 60. And, syempre, ang missing natin is percentage. Okay, how did we know? Okay, how did we know? that we are looking for the percentage. Okay, of course, nakita natin yung percent sign, automatic, ito yung ating rate. Huwag tayong malilito na baka isipin natin, palibhasa may percent sign ay percentage. No. The one that has the percent sign is your rate. Okay? So, ito na yung rate natin, yung 20%. Then, what is 20% of 60? Ibig sabihin, nahinahanap pala natin yung 20% ng 60. Ngayon, ang alam natin, from this word, malalaman natin na yung base natin because of the word of. So, you are going 
to take out the 20% from 60. Yun na yung magiging percentage natin. So let's solve. First, of course, you are going to write the formula. P is equal to BR. Now, you are going to uh, substitute. P is equal to 60 times 0 0.20. Or you can make it 0 0.2. So as I have said, kapag sari, pag dito na tayo sa pagsusolve, ang ating rate ay dapat laging naka-decimal. Okay? So we multiply 60 times 0 0.20 or 0 0.2. Our final answer is 12. So yun lang. The answer is 12. Okay, let's have number 2. What is 45% of 80? Okay? So first, let's have the given. R, okay, rate is equal to 45%. That is in decimal, which is 0 0.45. Base is 80. And our P is our unknown. Next, okay, now we solve. P is equal to BR. So we substitute 80 times 0 0.45. So notice again, our rate is in decimal. So when we multiply that, the answer is 36. Okay? So for this case, again, ano ang missing natin? Missing is our P. Because it asks for what is 45% of 80. Ibig sabihin, ito yung 80, ito yung panggagalingan nung kukunin na 45%. Okay, ganun yun. Okay, next, let's have some po problem. Number three. What is 4% of 90? Okay, given ulit tayo. Rate okay, is equal to 4%. That is in decimal 0 0.04. Okay, we have the same problem as the uh, first two problems. So, ang ating missing pa rin ay ang ating percentage. Okay, base natin is 90. So, let's have our solution. Again, this is our formula. P is equal to BR. So, we multiply 90 times 0 0.04. Our answer will be 3.6. Okay? Let's have number 4. 15 is what percent of 75? Okay? Remember, Kung papansinin natin, 15 is what percent of 75? It says what percent. So, ibig sabihin, automatic, alam natin, ang missing natin ay ang rate. Yun, very good. Rate ang missing natin. Pero pansinin natin, 15 is what percent of 75? Okay, we have the word off here. So, that means, ang ating 75 ay ang ating base. So, let's have the given. Okay, 15 is your percentage. As I have said, ang ating base ay 75 and the rate is missing. And for the formula, rate is equal to P over B. And we substitute 15 over 75. Okay? 15 over 75. That is 15 divided by 75. That is equal to 0 0.2. And we are going to convert this to our percent, which is equal to 20%. Okay? Let's have sample problem number 5. 85 is what percent of 500? Okay? 85 is what percent of 500? P is equal to 85. Again, B is equal to 500 and the missing is our rate and same as true for our formula r is equal to p over b and we substitute 85 divided by 500 and that is equal to 0 0.17 and we are going to convert that two percent we move to decimal places again one two so that makes it 17 percent Okay, let's go. Sample problem number six. 75 is what percent of 1,500? Again, what it asks, what percent? Ibig sabihin, rate ang wala. 
So that makes it P is 75, our base is 1,500, and rate is missing. For our formula again, R is equal to P over B, and that makes it 75 over 1,500. And if we divide 75 by 1,500, the answer is 0 0.12. Then again, we convert that to percent, we move two decimal places, 1, 2, and the answer is 12%. Okay, let's have sample problem number 7. 102 is 50% of what number? Notice, iba naman ngayon ang pagkakaayos ng question. Okay, we have the percent sign here. So for sure, meron tayong rate. Pero itong 102, ano kaya siya? Percentage kaya siya? Or base? Pero it says here, 102 is 50% of what number? So, ibig sabihin, saan daw nang galing yung 102? So, that means to say, our missing is our base. Okay, so 102 is our percentage. For our rate, we have 50%. That is equal to 0 0.50. Or we can make it 0 0.5. And the base is now missing. For our formula, B is equal to P over R. Or we say that is base is equal to percentage divided by rate. Again, base is equal to 102 over 0 0.50. Pwede gawin niya na 0 0.5. It doesn't matter. Okay, 102 divided by 0 0.5. For our final answer, that is now 240. Di divide nyo lang yan. 102 divided by 0 0.5. The answer is 204. Okay, let's have sample problem number 8. 90 is 75% of what number? Okay, again, same as true sa ating sample problem number 7. Our first given ay ang ating percentage, which is 90. Our rate is 75%, and we convert that. That makes it 0 0.75. And our missing again is our base. So again, for the formula of our base, base is equal to P over R, and that makes it 90 divided by 0 0.75. So therefore, our final answer is 120. Okay, 90 divided by 0 0.75 is equal to 120. Okay, so 90 is 75% of 120. Okay, last, sample problem number 9. 20 is 4% of what number? Okay, again, our P is equal to 20. Our R, or our rate, is 4%, which is equal to 0. 0, 4, take note of that. And our B is our missing. Again, the formula for B is equal to P over R, or percentage divided by our rate. And that makes it now 20 divided by 0 0.04. And for our final answer, that will be 500. So 20 divided by 0 0.04, the answer is 500. So therefore, 20 is 4% of 500. Okay, so yun lang. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Kung meron kayong mga tanong, kung meron kayong gustong sabihin, ilagay lang sa comment section and sasagutin po natin lahat yan. Yun lang, maraming salamat. Happy learning, bye-bye, and God bless you.